Thank you for showing interest in my channel and stopping by to see what I did on this tag. I set out to do four things, include book pages, a word of encouragement, some stenciling, and some stamping. So let's kind of dive in and see how I included all of those. My name is Peg. My channel, Tool Crows Mix Media. Thank you to those of you that have already subscribed. I appreciate you being here. And if you haven't, please do. The notification bell, of course, lets you know when I upload additional content. So to start, I started with a piece of watercolor paper. I actually did this project twice. This is my second round. My first round was uh, lost when my card decided to format on its own and erased all of my media. So I cut these three inches by five and a half inches is my second round. First round I did three inches by six. And to move that into a tag, I have a hotel key card that I just cut off the corner and I'm using that as a guide. I am going to crop a dial and put a half inch round circle or round those corners by a half inch on the bottom. And I've just used a regular um, hole punch to punch that hole in the center top. And now with watercolor, I am just adding some color to the background of this tag. I've chosen a yellow, a green, phthalo green, Hansa yellow, and then I'm going to darken it up a bit with some brown. And I'm just laying the, the watercolor down and then spritzing it with a bit of water and letting it kind of make its own decision where it wants to be. This is, I haven't used watercolors a lot, so I'm just in my experimental phase with them, trying to understand the, the medium, trying to understand the product, um, I purchased a little half tray of Daniel Smith watercolors is what I'm using. So I'm going to let this dry. And once dry, I'm going to come back and ink around those edges with a vintage photo ink. Just darken it up a bit. And I also, you know, made sure I got around that that hole at the top. And now for the stamping, adding in the stamping, I have this big script stamp. I'm going to script stamp in random places. I have a little um, boho stamp that I will utilize. And this recycle reuse stamp. And I'm just randomly stamping. And now that I have that pretty much completed. I'm going to pull out the stencil. And for the stenciling, I've decided to use some texture paste. And I make all of my own, so I'll link that um, video for you to see how to make that. And I am just mixing in some gold in with my texture paste. Now, in my previous round, I mixed in brown, and that actually worked out a little bit better. The gold kind of came through a little bit blah, but we'll correct that here in just a second. I am reaching for some book paper and I've just pulled out a, a piece of um, out of a poetry book and I've kind of ripped out a little little snippet and I am inking that up to give it an aged look. And we'll lay that down and we'll work with that a bit later. But to kind of lighten up that um, texture paste, I added a copper gold embossing powder because that texture paste is still wet. I put the embossing powder on top of it so it grabbed where the embossing or where the texture paste was. And now I'm just drying both of those with my heat tool. And this actually turned out really well. I'd never used embossing powder on top of that texture paste before, and I liked I liked the way that it, it turned out. I'm trimming that uh, book page down into a very small piece, and I'm going to put it inside my stamp here. And I am going to choose the word now, because if we don't act now, when, when will we, right? So it's just kind of a reminder to me to get it done, don't procrastinate it, and and move forward. So it's my little word of encouragement for 2021. 
and I'm using an art glitter glue. I'm going to glue that down to the book page and glue both of those down in the center of that stamp, that recycle, reuse stamp, which is another great word to use with now, you know, <laughs> if not now, when? I have these small little brads. There are some copper ones in here. So I've just taken my pokey tool and poked little holes on either side of that word. And I punched those brads through to give that just a little bit of embellishment. And I was showing you the paper, the catch paper that I had pulled out to use for the butterfly. I ran that through my big shot to create that butterfly die. Now, if you don't have that of course you can use any type of focal point on this on this tag it can be a heart a circle a you know whatever you choose something out of a magazine black ink and i'm dragging my hotel key card through it and putting some lines along the edge of that card and now just spritzing it with some water and splattering that black ink over the top of the card to kind of finish it off inking around that butterfly that was created with my big shot and i'm going to glue it down and i am choosing a button and a piece of cheesecloth and i'm going to glue that cheesecloth to the upper left hand corner of this card and find a, a nice little dark button that i can pull some jute through and tie off and I think that will make a, a real interesting little embellishment there at the top of this card. And I'm just going to tie that off in a square knot to make sure that it does not come loose or you know which I don't think it would have because it's glued on the back but nonetheless better safe than sorry right? And again, I'm using the art glitter glue. And now I have this jute. It's a, a big, huge piece, a four strand piece. I'm pulling off two strands and just looping that through that hole and tying it off. And there you have it. That completes this tag. And we've used all four things that we set out to do at the onset. There is the stamping, the book page, the stenciling and the word of encouragement so there you have it and i hope you enjoyed here are the previous four that i made in the first video that i lost in the reformatting of the card but i thought i'd show them to you anyway i hope you enjoyed this quick and easy tag if so please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and of course hit that notification bell i would appreciate it i enjoy those of you that are here that take a moment to comment i am grateful for that and enjoy hearing what you have to say so i shall see you on the next video bye for now